today's video is going to be about hair and I have had a couple of comments recently saying that my hair looks different, have I been using something different and I have been using a couple of different styling products and I wanted to talk to you today about the best styling products that I found at the moment for my hair. So obviously my hair is curly, um, I know a lot of people kind of get a bit weird about that and say it's wavy, to me it's curly anyway. So I'm going to just get started with kind of the best products that I have found. These are just styling products, so no shampoo and conditioner and treatment and that kind of thing, purely styling products. And the first one that I've got here is by John Frieda. And John Frieda is one of those brands for me that I know a lot of people really love for curly hair, but it's a little bit hit and miss. I find their products quite kind of silicone based and sometimes they just don't really work for me. But this is the John Frieda Frizzies Dream Curls Curl Enhancer. And it looks like this. It's just one of those kind of duo um, solutions. And it's just like a serum. And it really, really does help to kind of define your curl. So the order of products in which I'd apply it would be, I would apply a serum or, or an oil, then some sort of like holding cream, then a mousse, and then a salt spray. And I'll touch on salt sprays at the end of this video. But I really like this. It's really nice. It's very expensive for the small um, amount that you get. I think it's around... 10 pounds and you don't get very much but you do only need a tiny tiny bit and it's very kind of um smoothing but it doesn't weigh your hair down too much then a recent discovery is this tg um catwalk curl collection the curlesque defining serum which looks like this and i have always loved tg styling products i don't like their shampoos and conditioners but the styling products are fantastic this is no exception it's just a nice serum that i'll apply on wet hair it gives a little bit of um definition keeps the frizz at bay but just makes your hair look really really nice and defined and it's good if you have quite dry hair as well my hair isn't dry it's very lightweight but if you do like something that's not too heavy then that's a great one then another hair oil that i have here is by l'oreal and this is good if you do have very very dry curly hair and this is the l'oreal el vive extraordinary oil which looks like this really really nice product it's quite a thin oil it's great if you've got dyed hair it'll prevent the color from um, fading and it's got UV protection in it so it's really really good if like you're on holiday or that kind of thing and it just kind of keeps the frizz at bay a little bit then in terms of kind of cream products I've got two here um, well one of them's not a cream but the first one is this one right here by Boots essentials I think it is yeah and I've talked about this a million times everybody knows I love this and it's the Boots Curl Cream and it's just a very very strange textured cream I'll show you kind of the texture of it it's kind of quite a gross texture to be honest it's a little bit lumpy but it really really does help to add definition to your hair it's not fantastic if you've got um very very like fine hair it will weigh it down but it does add a lot of definition it's what i've got in my hair today and it just really helps to kind of define the curls a little more and make them just look more intact and controlled another great one if you have got quite fine hair is this one by my curls and it's their curl smoothie looks like this and a couple of pumps of this, again, on wet hair, just helps to kind of give a bit of definition and define the curl. And I find that I use a serum to combat frizz, um, a cream to kind of give that sort of smooth definition, a mousse to just give it some body, and then a salt spray to kind of just bigging it up a little bit. That's kind of my reasoning for all the products. Then this one is by Umberto Giannini, and this is the Flirty Curl Scrunching Gel. And this is good if you like to diffuse your hair. I don't ever diffuse my hair because the result it gives isn't that amazing that it's worth the time that it takes, and it really hurts my arm as well. I don't know if that's just me, but I find it a bit of a faff. So this is really nice because it's just a clear gel. I'll show you if I can get some out, if you can see here. It's just a clear sort of gel, but it doesn't have that crunchy gel-like texture. A little goes a long way. You don't need to use tons of this. Just a little bit onto your hair, and it will kind of help to create a nice, um, defined curl. Then, in terms of mousse, I've got two here that I'm really liking at the moment. I do really like the Pantene one. Um, I'm not too picky with mousse, but the one I'm using at the moment, I absolutely adore. But this one is really nice as well, and this is the Weller Shockwaves Volume Mousse. I find that I tend to go for mousses that either promise to create volume or mousses that are um, meant for curly hair. But the ones that create volume I find are just really nice in general. This one's really nice, it's kind of quite a light hold mousse. Um, I think I've got this in my hair today actually, yeah I did, I put this in last night. And it does kind of give a nice defined curl and it's not too heavy. And then this one is my current favourite, and this is the TG by um, 
Catwalk Curl Collection, Coalesce Strong Mousse. Love the packaging of these. I actually got these from a website called Dirty Looks. I think that's what the website's called. If I'm wrong, I'll correct it. But I'll put that in the down bar where you can go and um, find them because I definitely, definitely recommend these. They're fantastic. It's quite strong. It's got an interesting little nozzle which is quite unusual, um, and it does kind of give a nice definition. It's not a heavy mousse, you don't feel it on your hair, which you can kind of feel some of the other products, like my hair does feel like it has product in today, which I'm not a huge fan of, but um, this is really, really, really good if you've got curly hair, I absolutely recommend it, it's a fantastic mousse. And then last but not least, we have kind of like texturizing or salt spray type of products. Now I've got quite um, into these recently and a lot of people ask me if they do work for curly hair and I think they work for certain types. If you've got very dry hair, I wouldn't recommend them. They wouldn't really work for that type of thing. But if you have got hair that you feel um, needs just a little bit of kind of like a spruce and is lacking in volume and that kind of thing, these work fantastically. This one is the Charles Worthington, what's this called? Rough and Tussled Salt Spray. I do, this was one of the first ones I ever tried. I do like this, it's not my favourite. I don't like the smell. It smells a little bit weird. Um, something to add about the TG products actually, all the TG products smell amazing. But this smells a little bit masculine, but it does work. Um, and if you're on a budget, it is a nice buy. But my favourite kind of salt texturising spray on a budget, with one kind of issue, is the VO5 Give Me Texture Tussled Style Spray. This is really good. Um, the only thing is the applicator of this is an absolute nightmare. It gets blocked, it kind of squirts out really awkwardly, and I just don't like the application process. So I tend to kind of get it on my hands and kind of work it into my hair. But a very, very good budget buy. And then my favourite, favourite one that I'm using at the moment is by TG again, and it's their Session Series Salt Spray. This smells amazing. It smells like, like sort of, I don't know, it's a really difficult smell to describe. It's quite floral and sweet, but it just smells beautiful. You get a massive, massive bottle. It's good value for money, and it really, really helps to create a good kind of tussle look. It's good to apply in, um, dry hair as well, I'll show you. You can just kind of spritz a bit, it's a nice fine mist, and then just kind of scrunch it up. And it really does help to kind of give a bit of volume, and it's amazing. But this is kind of my go-to hero product. If you were to get one product out of this video, this is my kind of hero product. But as I said, there are different types of curly hair. If you've got dry hair, maybe they won't work for you, but different types um, require kind of different maintenance. But those are the products I'm absolutely loving at the moment. I will do an updated version of this while um, along the way I find more products that I really love, but these are the ones that I'm really enjoying at the moment. And I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've got any that you think are kind of complete holy grail products for your hair in terms of styling and you've got similar hair to mine. I'd love to know that. And just in general, what your holy grail um, styling products are, that would be really, really interesting. So don't forget to pop all of those in the comments below. I'll list everything down below as well and give the video a big, big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Bye.